so we finally have a sold sign up on the house thank you steve joy and remax realty um, and we are taking another load of furniture heirlooms that my wife can't do without to the storage center and then my wife's car is back there and we've got a load of furniture there so here we go so we've arrived at public storage and we are taking another load upstairs to the storage room here's a trailer full of stuff we got my wife's car over there all right now we're on the second floor i think my wife's already taken the first load up so we've got a 10 by 20 storage facility that's costing us 225 a month and the reason we've got one that's this big is because we had all of Cindy's mother's stuff, Cindy's grandmother's stuff, and now our stuff. And so we're gonna move it in here and then hopefully in a year or so, we'll decide whether or not we really need it and we will um, undo it. So, but for right now, we've got some furniture that uh, my wife really wants to keep. This is my wife's big hand hewn 650,000 pound solid wood table as matching benches and then two chairs for the ends. We did benches because with six kids. Boys. Four boys. They would always throw the chair into the wall and put a hole. So we stopped doing that. And it's hard to come by solid wood furniture anymore. Now we're going to pay $2,500 a year to keep a $1,500 table. And maybe one day one of the children will have a house big enough to put it in. You buy them a new one in. Got a pair of matching chairs. I don't think I set like that. Nope. All right, and now we've got an irreplaceable sleigh bed. Then we bought a second-hand store. And help head. We searched high and low for this for a while. Finally found one that we can afford. All right, we need another. All right, got some more blankets. trip 
We're gonna go back to the house and I'll give you a tour of what the house looks like now that it's empty and out. All right, we've made it back to the house. As you can see the, um, sorry about all the wind if you can hear that. As you can see here, the house is down there. And then we have our motor home parked up here at the top of the driveway. Um, and we have gotten a large 40 yard construction type trailer or um, garbage container delivered that we've been putting a lot of our excess household stuff in that we are not storing anywhere. Um, I'll let you take a quick look in there to see what all we've thrown away so far. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff. Let's go for a look at the house. All right, up at the house. You can see here's Chance. You've heard me talking about Chance. Hey, buddy. Hey. All right, let's go inside and take a look at what we've got. All right, when you walk in the front door, you've got the living room. Um, there are three pieces of furniture left. All that is going to my son, Harper. Um, we've got this piece for hanging jackets and storing shoes in the entranceway. Um, those will be going to storage. Just the two pieces of furniture, the other stuff on there is going to Goodwill. As you walk through, as you can see, the dining room is empty. The kitchen has just one piece of furniture left and that's going to my daughter, Reagan. And then you can see in the laundry room here, there's still a washer and dryer and a freezer. Those are going to the new homeowner and all our canning supplies will be going to our daughter-in-law. Let's go look in the bedrooms. Guest bedroom number one just has two pieces of furniture left. They'll be going to, um, to my daughter Reagan's house our apartment and then we've got a bedroom suit here in this bedroom this is Davis's room he'll be taking this stuff with him when he moves out sorry about the mess we are not in the house anymore we are living just up the driveway at the motorhome you can see it at the top of the driveway and if you go in the master bedroom there's a few pieces of furniture here two end tables and a chest and a chest of drawers those are all going to my son harper on this side of the room there's a shelf and an antique um, armoire the armoire is going to storage the two shelving units are going to harper's house bathroom is all empty except for brushes and toothbrush and a few little other knickknacks and we'll go upstairs everything's off the walls i believe that is going to my daughter lane there's just a few little pieces of furniture up here left. Those of that and that have been claimed by children. That is going to Goodwill. My daughter Reagan's room, a mess. She's taking all that with her to her apartment. In this room we have completely emptied out all that has gone to Spencer's or Goodwill's on the back porch there's a few little pieces of wrought iron furniture which are going to my daughter-in-law's house and and you can see the pond down there the grass needs cut 
the lawnmower has already been claimed by a child and now I'm going to have to try to get somebody to cut my yard for me. And then we'll go up the driveway to the motorhome. That's Midnight and Captain. Captain is my daughter's dog. He will not be going with us. Midnight, she'll be going with us on our adventure. So it'll be Midnight and Captain here. Midnight's going on the adventure. Captain's going to my daughter's. And then Chance, the dog on the front porch, will be going on the adventure. All right, we've made it back to the motorhome. Cindy's not back from storage shed yet. Um, we hope you enjoy going along with our adventure. Hopefully we'll have another update in a week or two. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and ring the bell for further updates. Uh, we're planning on doing a tour of the motorhome soon. See y'all soon. Thank you.